What's going on guys? Welcome to the second video. So right now I am about to leave for training. So I'm super excited, but something really interested I wanted to touch on before I leave is that um, we got an email from the coaches last night saying that um, it's gonna be a field player session. Goalkeepers like don't need to come, but they're welcomed. And so obviously I'm gonna go, but I think it goes to show that as a goalkeeper in the modern game, you need to be just as good with your feet because this first session that I'm about to do is nothing to do with goalkeeping. So I think that's why like I emphasize, I emphasize it a lot throughout my other videos and stuff, but as a goalkeeper, you need to be very, very good with your feet just because in situations like this and then at higher levels, um, they expect you to be a field player that can catch the ball with their hands. So with that said, let's get into today's video and let's go to training. All right, guys, so it is 7.55, Monday, August 9th. Actually, I should probably go like that. Um, so yeah, it's stadium's about 15 minutes away from the hotel, so I like to get there early. So I'm um, just kind of going in normal clothes and then gonna get there and hopefully ball out. So very excited for it. Very excited. So, yo, yeah, let's get to it. Right, guys what's going on so first session was done it is 10 30 so yeah good session um it was nice to play with my feet and get out there kind of like a field player like i said earlier it's so important for goalkeepers to be good with their feet and just to be able to play good balls and all that good stuff so it's so hot it's like 90 degrees and then plus like added heat from the turf so it's hard it's tough to keep going when like your body's tired and stuff but you just got to keep pushing and especially like recovering from covid probably about i'm probably about a month after i've had covid um and like it's tough man you can feel it in the lungs and stuff so um yeah but good session just finished like i said 10 30 gonna go back to the hotel shower recover and kind of just chill out we have a 11 aside game tomorrow so just recover and make sure that i'm prepared for that so i will see you when i'm back at the hotel Okay, so we just made it back to the hotel, thank God, because I'm exhausted. So I think I'm just going to take a shower um, and hang out, probably watch some TV, edit this video as well, um, and just kind of post the video that I've been working on. Um, but other than that, get some food, hang out for the rest of the day. It's really important, I think, when things are so back-to-back -to, -back, to make sure that you're recovering well, kind of like I spoke about in my last video that's going to be coming out today. But... Uh, recovery is so important especially when you have like games after games sessions after sessions it's very very important so probably take a shower and then i'll take you through my stretching routine later today and uh yeah we'll call it a day all right guys so i figured i would take some of this time to actually talk more about the trials so um, i'm very excited for this opportunity um if you guys don't know i'm on a professional trial right now uh that'll last until wednesday so basically the layout is today we just did uh basically like three aside uh, games and the goalkeepers um, didn't have to go to the training this morning if they didn't want to but I figured since I'm new and just to you know like goalkeepers need to be good with their feet anyway that I'd get a session in the morning so yeah got a good session in this morning it was tough how did I do I felt like I did okay like I don't think I, st I wasn't like stand out but I, I think I held my own um, and I, I worked hard so um moving on from today tomorrow's gonna be 11 aside game which is gonna be pretty dope so i can really showcase myself um in that regard in the match so i'm looking forward to that i believe we are playing another uh professional team um but they're still in the works a little bit so i guess we'll see what kind of happens with that but looking forward to the game tomorrow which will be pretty dope just to get that experience and hopefully you know showcase myself well um, and from there, the last day I'm here, they're going to be doing a training session in the morning. So like goalkeeper stuff, um, which will be really nice because um, sometimes these trials can be hard when for some reason they're not always the goalkeeper coach is not there or whatever. Um, and it's hard to showcase yourself as a goalkeeper uh, in those times, but it'll be nice because the last day uh, there will be the goalkeeper coach have a goalkeeper session and then we'll break away 
to a game. So that's kind of what the child's looking like. I'll keep you updated on how I'm doing. Um, and you know, um, I'm really excited, you know, whether or not it works out or not. Um, I think it's just a, you know, step in the right direction, uh, a way to get more experience. I can finally honestly say that I definitely feel like I'm at the level of this league. Um, so I think it's about finding the right fit and then for me just getting matches in as well. So yeah, I'm just looking forward to it. Keep you updated. Um, the grind is real. It's, it's crazy when, for me at least, when you expect um, to go to training, but like you're training against real men. And it's weird because it's like, yeah, like I am a real man, but like some of the guys are so like strong and big and it's like wow it's just crazy it's like holy crap it's like it's it's definitely a change so um yeah but that's it for the trial stuff all right so i'm heading to the car right now to get some food but i forgot my shoes in the car so um walking on a hotel floor barefoot is like about as sketchy as life can get so pray to god that I'm safe. So I was like looking around the find a Chipotle and I don't know if like anyone else's Google Maps does this, but it was like taking me to one that was like literally 30 minutes away when there was one two miles away. And it's like Google. Why 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 are you why are you doing those things? You know, gas ain't cheap anymore. It's just weird. All right, guys, so we've made it to Chipotle. I'm gonna run in and grab my burrito, and then we gonna eat it, because I'm hungry. So let's do it. My God, no joke. I think the lady working at Chipotle gave me the biggest Chipotle burrito I have ever received in my life. That thing was massive, it was huge. Oh my God, I couldn't believe it. I, I, couldn't, I almost couldn't finish it. Um, I took a quick video I'll show you right now. Um, yeah, I couldn't believe it. It was freaking huge. But after eating probably the world's biggest Chipotle burrito ever given to someone, um, I think I'm going to go back to the hotel instead of Lake Ontario just because I am a wiped out. But I won't show you Lake Ontario, but I will show you me ordering Starbucks. I know a lot less amusing or entertaining, but I wanted to bring out my inner white girl today. So we're going to do it. All right, guys, I lied to you again. I'm so sorry. Please don't hate me. But I found out that they have Tim Hortons here. And for those of you that don't know, I lived in Canada and I actually am a dual citizen. I'm Canadian and American. And right now I'm living in uh, the United States. And where I live, there's no Tim Hortons. Oh, my God. I'm going to Tim's. I'm going. Let's do it. All right, guys. So I made it to Tim's. Uh, it's such a big deal that I'm actually vlogging in the... Uh in the store and I'm pretty amped so I got a uh, just a medium iced coffee because it is scalding and please I know I'm gonna get a comment about it but uh, I just couldn't go uh, to Tim's without getting the, uh, the Boston cream donuts so for my dessert today um, this is what I'm gonna have so I'm gonna enjoy this and then go back to the hotel okay as usual that was the best donut i've ever had in my life and now i know some of you watching you guys are gonna say oh my god he had a donut he's not serious about football but you can live a little and it's only one donut but it was very good very tasty and you know what i think i saw a couple videos where matt sheldon ate uh was eating like four cookies a night or something uh so if matt sheldon can do it then i i want to do it too but as you can see, it's so hot. I'm sitting in the car in my AC and I'm sweating. This is like, I don't do well in the heat, but um, yeah, back to the hotel. All right guys, so sorry for the lighting, but I um, haven't been doing much, kind of just chilled out since I got food all day, edited some videos. Um, later on in the bed, I'm watching a little bit of uh, National Geographic right now, <laughs> just chilling out. But I want to show you real quick my two snacks for tonight or One's a snack, but the other one will be like something to have, you know, throughout the day and stuff. So I'll show you that real quick. So first up, um, have just a protein bar by Quest. Um, and it's nice because there's actually not a lot of sugar in this. The key to protein bars, I actually learned this today. 
um, is the fiber in it is what keeps you full. Um, and I didn't know that before, but um, yeah, if it has a lot of fiber, if you can find a protein bar with a lot of fiber, uh, it's gonna keep you fuller longer than something with sugar because sugar sugar makes you hungry. So after that, just some good old fashioned pretzels. Um, big pretzel fan, so I'm gonna enjoy some of that with my protein bar and then I'll take you through my stretching routine right now. All right guys, so it has been a long day, a very long day. So right now, I'm um, just watching a little movie, probably go to bed, it's about uh, 9, 10 o'clock here. Um, so yeah, I'll go to bed pretty soon, and um, yeah, thanks for uh, following along. All right guys, so I'm just watching a little movie here, I'm probably gonna go to bed soon, it's 10 o'clock right now. So I'm just going to chill out, but I really appreciate you guys like tuning in and checking out the videos. Um, it's been a goal of mine for a long time to start a YouTube channel. So the fact that um, people are watching it, um, even one person would subscribe, really means the world. So thank you guys and have a great day.